In this video, I'm gonna show you how to format an Xbox hard drive using Project Stellar. One of the best new features added to Project Stellar since its launch is the ability to format Xbox hard drives directly from within the console itself. Let's face it, not everybody has a SATA to USB adapter, and not everyone has an IDE adapter either if you're still using IDE drives. So this addition to Stellar OS just makes using the console and upgrading things as you desire just that much easier, and I'm a big fan of it. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. So the first step to this process is to have an Xbox with a Project Stellar mod chip installed. So there's my Project Stellar down there. Then you just gotta get it opened up and swap in the hard drive that you want to install in it. So for today's example, I'm gonna be using this team group four terabyte SSD. So I don't have a mounting solution for it yet because I am still experimenting with this CPU modded Xbox and uh, haven't found something that I'm thoroughly liking with the mounting options yet. So it's just gonna go on top for now. All right, so we'll just do that real quick. Now we'll just go ahead and get the box powered on and boot it into Stellar OS. And once Project Stellar kicks in here, and we can see our boot animation. There we go, just gonna press the start button to enter the setup menu. And here we go. And again, you do need to be on one of the newer firmwares for this tool to be included. So make sure that you are on version 1.1.2 or higher, depending on when you're watching this video. But from here, head down to the tools tab and you should see your hard drive being detected there. So there is my uh, SSD that I'm gonna be using for this. So just gonna launch the format hard drive tool here. And you'll see that there are two options. There's wiping the entire drive and then formatting the extended partitions. So if you have an existing drive that you just wanna consolidate your partition table on, you can format the extended partitions into a single F drive. Otherwise you could just do what I'm doing and installing a whole new hard drive. So wipe entire drive. And then the Stellar OS HDD format tool launch and saying, hey, you're gonna delete all the data on this drive. You sure you wanna continue? So press A to continue. It's gonna detect your drive. Once it's done, press A. It's gonna show you how it is formatting the drive here. So Xbox shell, that's your E drive, data is your C drive, and then you have your XYZ cache partitions, and then all of the rest is going into F. So once uh, you confirm that, just press X to continue. And then you'll get one final prompt to uh, Make sure you really want to format it, so just press Y to format. And once it is completed, the console will power off. You can manually reboot now if you would like. And as the console reboots, I'm just gonna go back into the setup menu here. And heading down to the tools tab once again, I now can see that my partition table is ready to go on this drive. Partition E, C, and F have all mounted, they're all 0% full because they're all empty, and that is perfectly okay because now we can begin loading up our dashboards and games and anything else you wanna put on it. So there's a couple methods of doing this. You can use FTP, which is what I'm gonna use just to transfer my dashboard onto here, or you could disconnect the drive from the Xbox and hook it up to your computer and use Fat Explorer. If you're doing large file transfers, that's definitely the preferred option. But since I'm just trying to install a dashboard so this will boot right now, I'm just gonna use FTP for this example. So here we are over on my computer. I have my Xbox hooked up to the network. Just going to go ahead and connect to it real quick. There we go. And so for Project Stellar, the dashboard needs to be under E and in a folder named Dashboard. So I have that already set up over here, Dashboard, and inside I have XBMC for gamers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that copied over. So just gonna bear with it while it does its thing. And there we go, the file transfer has completed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot this Xbox and it should boot right into XBMC for gamers. On second thought, I could just use the quick boot option here within Stellar. And there we go, XBMC for gamers has booted right up. Now I of course don't really have anything on this Xbox at the moment, so not a whole lot happening. But there is one more thing I'd like to do with this new drive before I go any further with it, and that is to get the original Xbox dashboard installed for Insignia purposes. So one of the nice things about XBMC for gamers, it has the downloader section here. Dashboards. And I could just download the original Xbox dashboard right from within side of it.
All right, there we go. So the original Microsoft dashboard is now installed, so I can confirm that by going into my C drive and seeing that everything is in here. And then I can launch it just by going to Xbox Dash.xpe. And there we go, original dashboard up and running. Perfect. So again, from here, you are free to begin loading up anything that you desire into your Xbox's newly formatted drive. While FTP is certainly a viable option if you don't want to take the drive out, hooking it up to your computer and using Fat Explorer is definitely a faster way of getting games and stuff put back on. But again, not everybody has a USB to SATA adapter, making FTP pretty much the only option available. But you decide for yourself what works best in your setup and just have fun with your new systems drive. But we're gonna go ahead and call it there. Project Stellar has been an awesome mod chip. I can't wait to see its continued progress and see where the Xbox scene goes from here. But here at the end of the video, I do have a couple of big favors to ask. As always, be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like this video as well as that sub button notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keeping it going, you can check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you so much as always for believing in what we do here and helping us keep it going. Can never thank you all enough. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.